Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. The questions I'm asked most frequently, and I guess there's a million of you guys out there who have all-terrain vehicle ignition system issues. And a lot of times I'm asked the question, well, will that ignition system work on, you know, some strange quad? Um, and the strange quad might not be a Chinese quad or even a, um, a Honda quad. It might be a Suzuki, a Yamaha, um, one of one of the known a Polaris, something else. And and real quick, it seems that most of the Chinese ignition systems were copied from. The earlier Honda 200S ignition system, 200S to 185, um, that basic motor, they seem to copy the ignition system from that. And I'm talking the square plug ignition system. And what I've been trying to do is come up with an ignition system that is so simple and easy to replicate. Anybody with a hacked harness Chinese quad or Honda quad or three-wheeler, better yet, or... Um, so once again, this works for all the Hondas, no problem. It seems to work for all the Chinese stuff, no problem. Once again, as long as you have a CDI system. I've used this ignition system on a um, Yamaha golf cart engine, and it's worked. And I'm about to mess with this engine also. There's another Yamaha, and we'll see if we can't get it to work there. But let me show you guys what I did to create this ultra simple system. First thing you do, you start out with your basic pit bike wire harness, CDI coil, CDI, and switch. You push this button to turn it off and hold it. And there you got it, right there. It's all one kit, $13. That's what it's called. And that's who you get it from. Okay, so that's the name of it, and that's what you get. So as soon as you buy this kit, you keep the wire harness, you keep the CDI coil. You take the um, CDI, and you put it somewhere else, and you take the kill switch, you put it somewhere else. You don't need these. These are bothering you. Put them far away. Done. So now you need a CDI. I always go with an external 12 volt CDI and this is the simplest one to use. Plugs right into the harness and all the wires are in the right place so you don't have to do anything. And this is what it's called. It's called a 4-pin DC, DC CDI box 4-pin, and that's who I got it from. And you can see the price. It's only 8 bucks. Whenever I buy a CDI box, I normally buy two, and quite honestly, I would probably buy two wire harnesses also, just to be sure you have them. So, now... You got a wire harness, you got all this great stuff, and all you need is one more thing, and it's known as 12 volts. When I built my portable CDI box, I smashed one of these 12 volt things right in there, right? And it makes it easy. Once all these things show up at your house, right? This guy, the harness, the coil, and all that. This is the way I put it together. And once again, very easy. This is not hard. Obviously, I have spares. Here. 
you look right at the wiring diagram here right and then you look right at it blue and white where does it go it goes to the trigger that's your pulse generator comes out right here and I'll show you where to plug that in in 30 seconds yellow black where does that go it goes to your spark coil and remember, you need ground on the other side of the spark coil. These wires were already in the harness. I just had to clip the end off and put a spade connection instead of a lug nut connection. So look at that. The wire harness, I already have a fully happy um, spark coil now. When I plug in the blue and white, I'll now have a nice pulse generator. Other than that, right, I've just hooked up three wires. Other than that, all I have to do is worry about the power which is black and red. So I'm going to hook that right to my battery. I got to worry about ground, right, to make the spark plug spark, to uh, ground the case and all those other wonderful things. And once again, I got to hook up power to this whole system. So let me show you how easy this is to do. We got my test bike right here. First thing, always hook up the uh, spark plug. Secondly, these two wires. Now, the blue and white has to plug in to where the blue and white goes, and the green has to go on the ground. It's going to take me two hands, so give me two seconds to put the camera down. This should be making life easier. Not everybody is um, an electrical engineer or a physicist or a rocket scientist or any of those other things. Most people are just people who want to get their stuff running. Right? I'm uh, just hooking up a couple of other things so it doesn't take quite as long when I show it to you. So, here we go. You see I put the big ground here. You see I hooked up the blue and white to the blue and white, the green to the green. All that's done. So theoretically, and um, you can see I have a ground wire here that goes to my jump pack, um, right? And you can see I got ground here. So I got ground that's going to go to this thing. So theoretically, all I need to do is hook up positive to this and I'm going to have spark. I'm also going to hook this up to my starting solenoid and I have this red wire going to the coil on my starting solenoid so I could tickle my starting solenoid to get this thing to start and I'm going to do that and once again then I'll show you how I hooked everything up. See, I got everything hooked up to positive like I need. So theoretically, all I need to do now is tickle my starter and she'll fire right up. Give it a little gas. I mean very hard right not all that difficult not a big battle starts right up runs easy and the whole bit so what did I do I bought this CDI and it shows you trigger coil ground um, switch to DC I bought the harness got rid of the AC guy got rid of the on and off switch you're not going to use those then I just put the wires where they need to go it's self-explanatory I used a capacitor uh, 12 volt jump pack instead of this but you can use this and make it completely portable how's that for easy guys I mean this is a 10 minute video where I showed you the easiest 
pack to build a ball. How much does it cost? You're looking at $25.22. And once again, this will start um, all your old Hondas, no problem there. So far, it started all the newer Hondas for me. I've had no problem with that. I mean, the 250SX, the 300EX, the... Um, I haven't tried it on this thing because I haven't had to. Um, the 250X, um, I've used it on the four tracks. Obviously, this China piece of junk. I've used it on the pit bikes, the China pit bikes. They obviously use a CDI. And I've used it on a golf cart. Um, for some of these other engines, like this guy, you kind of got to dope out which wires go to the um, pulse generator. All you need is the pulse generator and ground from the engine, so you got to kind of dope that out. Um, and it might take you looking at a schematic or poking around a little bit. I did some ohm testing on this motor, and uh, buddy of mine, Corey, is actually trying to hook one of these up. And for, for some reason, it, it seems that um, instead of going from the uh, blue and white to ground, it appears as if in the bundle, there's a blue and white, a pure white, and a green uh, wire. The green wire is not hooked to ground, but it appears as if you got to go from the white wire to the um, to the green wire to get your pulse signal, which um, I mean I haven't opened it up and looked, but that's where I get the ohm value that I expect somewhere around 300 ohms for the pulse generator. So I I need to crack the side of the case open and take a look in there to see what's going on before I say definite. But I just I noticed that while I was fooling with it today. Folks, there are questions, and please ask. Um, a lot of times it's quicker for me to shoot a video like this than try to um, answer the questions. Because I think sometimes when I answer the questions, maybe I answer them in a way that um, I'm saying one thing and perhaps a different understanding is reached or... Um, Perhaps I'm talking in terms that, that aren't necessarily understood. I mean, I'm not slamming me and I'm not slamming you, right? It doesn't, the, the end game for both of us is that at the end of the discussion, the end of the video, the end of the effort, your bike is running. So that, that's where I want to land. So um, anyway, folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.